Hello everybody. Today we will be setting tape pass and setting up Azimuth for the reversible cassette deck Sony TC FX 707R. Exactly with this model we have a problem. The tape pass looks to be not properly set and we will change it right now. So you may see on the video that in one direction tape is slightly bended on the playback head and when we play in other direction tape is bended on the playback head and missing about one third of the rising head and that's resulting in the poor rising options. I will show you the closer. So here is a closer view. On the right direction, tape is slightly bended, as you may see just right here on the top of the rising head, not rising, playback head. You see the tape has a slight bend. In opposite direction, tape has a huge bend on the left side and if you see the rising head on the right side down here we see like about one third of the rising head is missing the tape that's what we'll be fixing after a little bit of adjustment of the right leader we were able to succeed and make the tape pass go smoothly over tape in the reverse direction. So there is currently no any bends over the tape and tape goes smoothly over the horizon head. So currently it should arise and record properly after we build set up and azimuth after adjusting the heights of the left leader, we currently can see the tape goes smoothly over the both heads without any bends in both directions, uh, even after changing direction multiple times. Next step is use azimuth cassette to set up azimuth for these heads. To set the azimuth we will be using professional cassettes. It's calibration cassettes with 15 kilohertz pre-recorded sound. And According to the specification, first of all, we have to find a highest point on the oscilloscope by going in different directions. And when we find a high point, the main would be to select phase when both left and right channels will be synchronous. For example, if we will be looking into XY diagram, we should see a 45 degrees ellipse or better line. So this is not a three head deck and we is not enhanced tape pass. So it's allowed to have a little bubbling. But as you may see, it's a pretty nice and it goes around 
So 45 degrees. Oops, we lost signal. Let's roll it back. So, and for the forward direction, tape pass is looks to be set. like we can do minor adjustments it should be 45 degrees something like that Okay, we get it. Now we will change direction and we will set face for the opposite direction. Oh, it looks to be it's it's wrong. Here we go. Come on, closer. Roll. Here, so face properly set if it uh, looks into ellipse 45 degrees or circle. And a round set if it looks into 135 degrees. Let's do another check. Okay. Phase is set. today I like to tell you more about differences in the older decks versus more modern decks with auto reverse for example if you may see the levers which hold pinch rollers are made from steel additionally tape chassis head chassis is made from aluminum and if you may see the tape leaders which we've been adjusting to set the tape pass those are made independent so for example when tape is going one direction forward only left leader will be connecting to the tape and setting the pass and right leader will be pushed down below and it would not be touching the tape in the opposite direction however everything change right leader gets up and leads the tape and left leader gets down and would not do that also is pretty neat scene is a quick after reverse if you may see on the left side here is the sensor it's optical sensor and there is a mirror installed on the left lead and when a tape gets to the tape leader and light can come through the, to the tape leader it will be reflected from the mirror down there and gets back into the sensor and reverse with will work immediately at the moment when our tape ends don't wait in till leads will be get to the end so this is nice feature and it works, works pretty neat. Internally, chassis of this tape deck is separated with steel plates. So we have a separate steel plate which gets behind the main controller board with digital part where our display is arranged. 
We have another metal chassis which goes in the middle of the deck, which separates the audio part from the digital part down there and power supply. As a result, uh, digital and audio noise will be separated and our sound quality will be much better.